What up guys, so John Moxley, Dean Ambrose is officially All Elite. That's the headline, that's what went down uh, yesterday night uh, at Double or Nothing in the MGM Grand Garden Arena. All Elite Wrestling's first ever pay-per-view event ended with a bang. Um, the superstar, the wrestler, formerly known as Dean Ambrose, made his shock debut at the event after Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega had just wrapped up their hellacious battle to select the, the, the second man who would be in the match against Hangman Adam Page to crown the first ever AEW World Champion. And it, the, the fight itself, the match was back and forth action. Um, it had a lot of outside hardcore elements to it. There was a table that was used, a brutal spot there where uh, Kenny Omega went straight through that table. Uh, it was um, it was crazy. Um, Kenny Omega was actually busted open uh, in his nose. Um, Jericho also sustained a lot of damage, so it was a lot of back and forth action between these two guys. It wasn't a clean wrestling match, but I think that's to be expected, especially with Jericho getting up there in age. Uh, I'm sure his... Um, ability to kind of wrestle a match like he used to is a little bit more limited now but he still makes uh makes the match uh worthwhile and very fun and interesting to watch um especially because jericho is um you could say an og in wrestling uh this man knows how to sell he knows how to tell a story inside of that ring and so when you have wrestlers like that even into their old age uh like i said he's not old like that either but still you know as far as a wrestler goes he's uh up there in age he's 48 years old but he's still able to tell a story he's got years decades of experience so uh that all has allowed him and helped him to not only Get, keep himself in the game and to you know be able to wrestle a match but also elevate the other guys match skills uh and i'm talking about in this case kenny omega kenny omega uh it's been said about before that prior to jericho he um you know jericho forced him to go into another level and you know so these type of matches uh jericho is not washed up jericho is not uh, a wrestler that has nothing to offer he still can go he still can tell a great story and so this uh was made for an interesting match and it was uh aew's first ever main event uh to again get that second um person into that match to crown the first ever aew world champion so jericho does earn that spot and he'll be facing Heyman adam page at a future event which i think it may be all out in july i'm sorry it was august i think the next pay-per-view event um might be there and uh you know where we get that first champion crowned um but back to the main story right now at hand what this video is about and that's john moxley making his shock debut at the event he made it after this uh match he came through the bleachers through the crowd just like he used to do in wwe when he was with the shield he came down uh, amidst fan frenzy the crowd was just going wild um and he confronted jericho in the ring they traded some words or i think it was more of jericho actually you know kind of telling him something and john moxley went for the dirty deeds which i'm not sure he'll be using that name for this move anymore in aew so we'll just say his signature DDT for now. So he went for that move. He laid out Jericho. Then he went after the referee. And while all this is going on, Kenny Omega is wounded in the middle of the ring, laid out, and he's starting to get up. He looks up at John Moxley. John Moxley taunts him. And as soon as Kenny Omega starts to get up, Moxley tries to lay him out as well with a DDT, but Omega fights back. So the fight, uh, which was kind of like a bar brawl, lands them outside of the ring. They're fighting into the crowd. Uh, pretty soon, Moxley gets the upper hand, and he they 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 uh, get on top of the casino chip poker chips, which uh, was a stage prop. They were huge casino chips. They get on top of that, and John Moxley lays him out with the signature ddt and then uh and then um con uh, continues 
and gets him in a fireman's position and throws him off onto the floor and that was it it goes off the air Dean Ambrose is standing tall while the fans are just going crazy and that was the end of AEW's first ever pay-per-view it was a wild event guys a revolution is going on in professional wrestling I've had people tell me I've had people uh, heard people say that it's a great time to be a wrestling fan and I really think it is um, you know I, I'm not one of those people that hopes that WWE goes out of business because I, re I, I why would I want that because if WWE goes out of business then we're in the same place that we started in which you have a monopoly controlling everything but what I hope to see is an alternative and that's what AEW is uh, presenting us it's presenting us with um, professional wrestling that's uh, more focused on the sport aspect of it while still obviously delivering on the entertainment um, giving us um, a grittier more edgier product and I'm looking forward to that so I do hope that AEW is successful but I also hope that WWE is successful as well in that this uh, simply brings out the best out of everyone involved because at the end of the day competition brings out the best out of people and not only do they come out winning making more money being more successful but we fans as well who enjoy the product come out winning so guys what do you think let me know what you thought about john moxley formerly dean ambrose making his shocking debut at double or nothing guys i'm out god bless you remember subscribe to this channel hit the like and let me know your thoughts in the comment section i'm out god bless you